thank you Gabriel Rosado for your career you fought what you, you did what you could you fought the best you fought Golovkin Daniel Jacobs I thought you beat Daniel Jacobs but they didn't give you that decision but thank you so much for what you did in the sport we appreciate you and I hope you made a lot of money in the sport of boxing Thank you for everything you've done. Um, you took a lot of punishment. You wasn't the most defensive fighter, but you had so much heart. And, you know, you, you did what you could. You did your best. And that's what that matters. You know, you fought with your heart. You fought with your, with, with your willpower. Everything you, you could have done. You trained hard. You fought the best. You tried to fight. Um, I forgot his name. Is it Gilberto Ramirez? And he came in about ten pounds heavier than you. So, you know. You know, I really wanted to see that fight. I think you could have beat him. But we'll never know. However, thank you so much for putting up. You know, I don't know how long you've had your career. I think you've had ten years in the sport. Not even longer than that, probably 15 or 20 years. So thank you for your service. Thank you for finding the best. Thank you for continuously showing your heart in fights. You know, I've never... I, I've Every um, Gabe Rosado fight I've seen, he's always bleeding. He's always somehow... Somehow he has to just, you know... He always has to dig deep and find find something within himself to you know to keep fighting and that's what um he is a representative of what um fighters should do you know the heart is the heart is still important a lot of guys um stick behind the jab not don't want to take risk you know don't want to get busy but sometimes when a fight is just better than you the only thing you can do is to slug it out and have a go you know and that's why i feel like the uk fighters are are just you know, we're just so we just got so much grit because when the boxing, when the when you're better, when you can outbox us, when you can outpunch us, we're just gonna have a go. We're not gonna like stick behind the jab, and I'm not I'm not bashing anyone who does that. If that's your style, that's your style. As long as you get the win, that's important. But sometimes in fights, you're gonna have to dig deep and you're gonna have to keep fighting. And Gabe Rosado has shown countless of times that you know your heart doesn't always fail you. Sometimes um, I feel like the, the amount of punishment he's taken in the sport has now catched up with him. So now I guess it's time to retire. But he has done a great job. And he will be remembered. I mean, he's in Creed 3. I mean, sorry, he was in Creed. So that's a, that's a, also, that's also a good achievement. That's something that he should he should be proud of. He should, uh, you know, he should uh, honestly be happy for, you know, happy with uh He's done so much in the sport of boxing. Um, you know, he's taken a lot of losses, but he has more wins than losses. And, you know, his losses don't really define him. Um, and that's amazing. So, I kind of wish boxers would take more risks because if, boxing, if boxers took more risk, then there wouldn't be a lot of undefeated fighters in boxing. You'll see a lot of, you'll probably see a few, but not too many. So Gabriel Rosado did a lot for the sport of boxing. You know, he fought the best. He, uh, you know, he did everything he could. And that's what we should just be happy. We should just be happy that, he, you know, he basically done what the UFC does, where, fight, you know, continuously fights the best. You know, he fights what he, 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 fights what he can fight. He fought Mungia. He fought Daniel Jacobs. He fought... Um, Golovkin and Golovkin at the time was a beast he fought the prime Golovkin you know and I don't, he doesn't get a lot of credit for that fight because he lost but you know Golovkin was a killer at that time I don't think anyone was trying to step in the ring with Golovkin you know you have someone like Jamel Char Jamal Charlo you know the one at 160 not at 154 and he's still yet to come in the ring. It's been probably 700 days. And he still hasn't fought yet. 
it will almost be two years since he's had a fight and he's still holding on to the strap. That's crazy to me. But Gabe Rosado, thank you for everything you've done.